Holy Spirit loved me, made me healthier, allowed me to become the woman I am today. Three little ladies that were 80 years old in the assistant pastor's uh, church that I work in prayed every Wednesday to keep their church open. They took all the meals to the sick people, and at 80, they ran a lot faster than I did. Um, when I first walked into Life Bible College and took my first Life Bible College class, good job, John. John, come up and help me preach. Come here. Come here. Okay, put your finger out. Put your finger out. Say God. God. He was. He's been doing it all day. He's just making me laugh. And when he finds God in the children's Bible, then he goes God, and then he goes Jesus. You're very smart, John. Thank you so much. So anyway, in my four square journey, when I saw Dorothy Jean Furlong at Bible College, and she walked in and she was teaching the Word. And I thought, Lord, I get to be here and learn about you. And she changed my life. She taught me how to pray, how to read the word, and how to live with the Holy Spirit. Because I didn't really know, because coming from an unsaved family and a Baptist church, we didn't believe in the Holy Spirit. So... I know that all of you are going to be very blessed tonight with Kathy speaking, and I think Agnes and the gang are ready to, to do a little worship. We invite you all to come up front and dance and be crazy, because now I'm totally crazy, <laughs> sold out to the Lord. But I wouldn't be here today had it not have been for a four-square district um, supervisor's wife and when we were pastoring she asked all of the pastor's wives to bring a thimble to remind her of Jesus and we were very poor and uh, so I got a little ceramic thimble and I painted it yellow with water paint and I sealed it with nail polish and so, of course, all the pastor's wives said at this big district meeting, there was probably about uh, 500 ladies there, you have to put your thimble up on the pastor's pulpit. So I went up like this. Because I was ashamed that I didn't have anything to give. But I put it on there, and she stood up later on, and she said, this is the best thimble I've ever got. It's yellow, and it has the brightness of the Lord. Now she got silver and antique and gold thimbles, but the Lord allowed her to do that, that I would know it's so much fun to give. So I want every one of you guys to make sure you get some jewelry tonight, make sure you get some books to take home, and we have door prizes over here. And kids, I'm sure you guys want to put a balloon on your arm tonight when you go home. And ladies, you're welcome to them as well. Anyway, Father, we just ask the Holy Spirit to rule and reign here tonight. We thank you for Agnes and Courtney. And I'm sorry, I always call him Agnes's husband, Dennis. We ask you to bless them as they bring the music forward. And we ask you to be with us. Make us smile tonight, Lord. And be so grateful that somebody said, come to a meeting and meet my friend Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Amen. Amen. Those who love Jesus are invited to rise up now, please. And Let's show. Let's just show our love to Jesus by praising Him and worshiping Him through a big clap offering. Let's clap for the Lord. Come up, come up. Praise God. Up, up. Everybody. 
everybody. Don't be shy. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guys are welcome. Praise God. Children are welcome. Come dance with us, John. Yeah, it's nice to oh. see all of you. Now, um, I need to ask you one question, one special question. Could you please raise your hand if tonight you feel that you are so in love? <laughs> it shows, praise God. Give the Lord a big clap. The Lord is pleased right now because he can see all his sons and daughters here so in love with him. But the Lord's love is greater. Amen. Can you tell someone beside you right now, I love you with the love of the Lord. <laughs> okay, praise God. Let's sing this nice song declaring whose, whose child we are. Come on all the way up. You guys like
calls me friend. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. 